Welcome back to Scotty's Hobbies. Today I'm working on this 2015 Nissan Moreno. I used my Mucar 892BT Bluetooth bi-directional AI inspired or AI helper diagnostic tool to pull the codes on this vehicle. We had three codes today, a P1168, a P1801, and a P0051. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a diagnosis and repair on the P1168 and the P0051. Either one of those codes will work for this video or you'll be able to work on both those codes from this video. I'm gonna hijack this video real quick just to clarify something. Now in this video, I'm showing you a diagnosis for a P0051, but this video will help you out on diagnosing any heater circuit control malfunction you have, not just on the air fuel ratio sensors or the O2 sensors, all of them. If it's a heater circuit malfunction, this video will help you out. So what you're gonna be looking for is on your oxygen sensor, on the harness or the pigtail, there's gonna be two common wires. On this one, they're both black. Those are the heater circuit control wires. The other two colored wires, those are signal wires and the computer wires, we're not worried about those. You're worried about the two common colored wires for the heater circuit on any oxygen sensor that is heated, so four wire oxygen sensor. Now the list of codes that this video will be good for, there's gonna be a list in the description, but it's endless, there's a ton of them. I think it's like almost 10 or uh, 12 codes that this video will help you guys on. Of course, your oxygen sensor might be in a different location than the vehicle in this video. If you check out the video library, Scotty's Hobbies, just search Scotty's Hobbies and your make and model of your vehicle. You'll find a ton of videos on a ton of different vehicles for the emissions component locations, which includes oxygen sensors. Now again, this video is gonna help you out on a ton of different vehicles, on a ton of different sensors, with a ton of different codes. So make sure to stay tuned. Let's get back into this one. Now this pertains to the Bank 2 oxygen sensor. That's the front oxygen sensor. That is before the catalytic converter. It is right here. I'm gonna show you how to diagnose and replace this if needed. But I'm gonna show you what you need to check out on this oxygen sensor to see if it actually needs to be replaced or if you need to start chasing the wiring, connectors, all that good stuff. Make sure you stay tuned, like, subscribe, share, check out the video library for a ton of automotive helpful videos. Now let's get going into the diagnosis and repair on this front oxygen sensor on this Nissan Moreno. This will help you out on a ton of vehicles, not just this Nissan Moreno. Here we go. Now we already have the intake snorkel that was right here. It's off, it's on the ground right there. Uh, that gives us access to this connector, which is right here. Now what we're gonna wanna do is check the ohms of resistance on the heater circuit. Again, like I said, can you see that? Let's switch you up a little bit right there, better view. So these two black wires, we have it on ohms of resistance. It's kind of hard, you have four pins, it's gonna be on that far side, the two black wires. You're gonna try to just touch the pins, don't touch the uh, probes together, or you're gonna get an inaccurate reading. This one you can see has zero ohms of resistance. Now if I touch the pins together, you see how the meter changes, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Again, touch just the pins inside the connector we're getting nothing. Now here's your new oxygen sensor. It's an NTK. And again, the black wires are gonna be right there. So on this side, now we're just gonna touch the pins on this one. 3.4 ohms of resistance. So that means the heater circuit on this one is open. There, it's not even connecting inside the oxygen sensor, which is causing that code. What was that code again? The P0051. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and replace this oxygen sensor and be good to go. There's our oxygen sensor. Now what I used to get this oxygen sensor out was a O2 sensor socket with a swivel on a very long half inch extension and a half inch socket wrench. And it got it right out. So this job, 
really only takes 30 minutes to get this job done. It's fairly easy. I'm gonna go ahead and install this new one. I might let this thing cool down for a little bit and we'll see what happens. It's a little hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna start this by hand down there in the exhaust manifold. I'm impatient and it's really hot. I'd highly recommend waiting for this thing to cool down. Twisting the wire as I twist the sensor too. Ooh, super hot. Now that it's started in there, got two or three turns on it at least. Get the oxygen sensor socket on it. It's easier to go under this hose, so you're gonna take the bracket off so you can get under the hose. Can't really see much, so I'm sorry about that. But I promise you it's working. Nice and snug, I believe, if you're gonna use a torque wrench. I think these are torqued down about 25 foot-pounds. But you can see I got it tightened up down there using the same setup. I'm gonna put some dielectric grease inside the connection. Squirt, squirt. Hook it up. Hook, hook, hook it up. Or connected, I should say. Be careful not to bend the prongs. Make sure it goes in easy. Push until it clicks and you're all good. Put your wire into the little clip right there. Try to. Like so. And you're going to be all good in the hood. All set, really. We're going to go ahead and put this Screw it back in the bracket. Again, this thing is really hot, so I'd really recommend doing this when it's cold. We were just on a test drive seeing if another fix was the all fix, but it wasn't. All right, you guys, I just came back from the test drive with this Moreno. We replaced the front oxygen sensor, so your bank two oxygen sensor because the P00 five one code um, and this seems to be taking care of both the codes that were in there so p0051 what you want to do is check the resistance on the heater circuit of the oxygen sensor and if you don't have any resistance at all for sure it's looking bad i put a new one on there obviously we tested it before we put in it had resistance or put it in and it had resistance and it's good to go so p0051 bank two sensor one oxygen sensor heater circuit malfunction test the oxygen sensor heater circuit if it's bad go ahead and replace it if you do get resistance in the heater circuit of the oxygen sensor you're going to be looking at the connections to make sure the wires are good or even a wiring issue on the car or further back into the computer but hopefully or not hopefully but luckily we got lucky today and it was just the oxygen sensor that needed to be replaced because the heater circuit inside this thing has gone bad for some reason. I hope this video helped you out, and if you did, or if it did, comment below. Let me know the year, make a model of the vehicle that it did help you on. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies, and I will see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video.